Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, It's All Right, and our scripture is Jeremiah chapter 42. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord, our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord, our God. I'm convinced each of us has a treasured memory or two, or maybe 200, that's triggered by a word or phrase, perhaps a place or sound or even a smell. One of my triggers is a phrase, it's all right. It was one of those phrases that defined my friend Vernus's friend, James May. In some ways, James and Vernus were cut from the same cloth. They were men of the land, few words, and just about as much as humanly possible without guile. When I first arrived at Bethany Church, James was in a nursing home. I was working on meeting my new church family, so I planned to visit the homebound first. Vernus asked if he could take me to meet James as they were friends. When we walked into James's room, he looked at the two of us and his jaw dropped open in surprise. Deep surprise, about three feet from uppers to lowers. And then he smiled from east to west. James May always greeted you that way when you walked into his room. He could be as surprised as anyone on earth. Yet some things never rocked his world. Bad things, mostly. James was as simple as a doorknob. In the very best sense of that description, he was truthful, thankful, and unpretentious. But the most shining characteristic of James May was his faith that God had stuff, particularly bad stuff, well in control. His favorite phrase was an inimitable whisper, It's all right. We lost James the same year I met him. Over the past few decades, I've been mulling over that phrase, It's all right. <laughs> It's just a few words, but it always triggers the same warmth and exuberance of faith I sensed in James May and his dear friend, Vernus Pugh. Vernus died a little less than five years after James. It was a tragic accident that took my friend. But from the time we lost James until the day we lost Vernus, I heard that phrase at just the right times. Whenever something gloomy started clouding the horizon, I could see it coming in Vernus's eyes. He'd be on the verge of offering a word of hope. Well, it ain't pretty, but it's all right. And then he'd smile, that knowing James May smile. It's taken a while, but my mind, which is slower than most folks on the uptake, is catching up. I finally figured out Vernus's purpose for holding James May's signature line in plain view for me. Vernus loved me enough to recognize this preacher sometimes needed a little unvarnished and untarnished plain truth. The kind that lets you see more clearly than the clouds of doubt and fear want you to see. He wanted me to get it. It really will be all right. For you today, I hope you've got a friend like James or Vernus. And more than that, I hope you can be a friend like James or Vernus. We all need to pass that all right down the road. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road with Jesus. Have a blessed day.